Hello and welcome back to this week's edition of the Engineering News and Mining Weekly magazine, published on Friday, 19 January 2024. In this week's cover article, Engineering News and Mining Weekly Deputy Editor Online Madeleine Arnaldi writes that the Eastern Cape Mega Bridges projects are making steady construction progress after the initial setbacks. Following delays and setbacks in recent years, Rhodes Parastatal South African National Roads Agency Limited restarted works last year on the Mtentu and Msikaba mega bridges in the Eastern Cape as part of the flagship N2 Wild Coast Road project. The engineering news features focus on South Africa's energy outlook, where the outlook points to increase load shedding in 2024. Water treatment, purification and desalination, where water reuse increases potable water supply. And business conferences and exhibitions in 2024, where Africa's Big Seven provides a marketplace for food industry players. The Mining Weekly features focus on base metals, with the metals navigating macroeconomic uncertainties. This week's business leader is Dr. Reta Bile Melamo, CEO of the South African Photovoltaic Industry Association. And as this week's cartoon shows, it's difficult to argue against the principles underpinning the National Health Insurance Bill approved by lawmakers late last year. However, the devil is in the detail and given the collapse of the monopoly state enterprises that have hitherto been responsible for electricity and freight logistics, South Africans have every right to be concerned. We hope you enjoy the first week of 2024's edition of Crema Media's Engineering News and Mining Weekly. Be sure to subscribe to the magazine that offers you in-depth news about developments in the real economy by emailing subscriptions at engineeringnews.co.za. Happy reading and see you next time.